What's going on, everybody? This is Mega Nintendo, and I am back playing more Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. And in the last episode, we were here, right here, in this very exact spot, kind of. I don't know, but we were here, and we were about to go into this room. We were traversing Jabu Jabu's belly with our main brat waifu herself, Princess Rudo. So let's go in here and let's kill some, kill some of these guys. So we're making quick work of them. Thanks to our lovely little uh, boomerang. Now let's take care of this phallic tentacle. If, if it'll... There we go. Oh, okay. You know what? You know what? I don't like your attitude, mister. Mister. Here we go. You just do circles around him because it'll work like this. Yeah. One more time should do it. A boom. And that's how we do it. Door opens for us, and we are in the clear. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but this opens up the door, uh, one of the doors, uh, back from the main room with all the holes. So we're gonna have to do a quick uh, run by these little claw tentacle thingies. Excuse me, or, uh, pick her up, please. I'm glitching through her. Come on, let's go. Come on, I'm not not in the mood for this. Come on. Okay. So. Gonna watch out for this guy right here. It was this right here, so we're gonna jump down here. And then there really isn't anything over here, so we're gonna go right into this door right here. And we're in here. Oh, look at that! That's it! That's what I've been looking for! Throw me up there! Onto the platform! I have a bad feeling about this, but sure. Look at that, she picked it up. Princess Rudo got the spiritual stone. But why Princess Rudo? Oh my goodness! I finally found my mother's stone! I got very upset when Lord Jabu Jabu swallowed it. While I was feeding him, he suddenly swallowed me. I was so surprised I dropped it inside. But you s But in the last episode, you, you said that you came in here all the time, so why are you surprised about it? I... I don't understand. I, d I don't understand. Anyway, but now that I've found it, I don't need to be in here anymore. So take me home right now. Okay. What? Oh no! Spiky thingies! Kia, what is this? An octopus? Oh my gosh. Splatoon! It's Splatoon, folks! We're here in Splatoon! Oh, oh my god. No, no, this is actually the... This is actually the mini-boss. Probably one of the most frustrating mini-bosses I've ever played. So, um... Basically what what this this boss entails is that we have to... Get... So, what this boss entails is that I have to... Get behind him. I have to... Get behind him. And it's probably one of the most annoying things I've ever done in a video game ever. <laughs> I know that I know what he is. Throw the thing at him. Throw the th you know what? So basically what this entails is that I have to now I have to get behind him and this really tedious process where I have to stay right in this area because if I get too close to the edge I get hit by those spikes. It's really annoying and and I also have to stay in range of him with with this. Gosh, see, see if I get too close, then that happens. This is probably. Oh my god, I fucking hate this. Yeah, see, and doing that does absolutely nothing to help. Oh my god, I hate this! This is so annoying! No! God damn it. Oh, I got it. Okay. Now I just gotta kind of wait for him, I guess. And we get to play the game, this game again. I guess the only thing I can tell you, I mean, this, this is really one of the most annoying mini-bosses I've ever played. Like, in history. Because... 
She's had to be she had to go through this really tedious process of like running at him. And I just oh my gosh, I hate this so much. Come on. Come on. Ugh. And there we go, folks. And we can do the entire thing over again. Isn't that fun? Isn't this fun? Isn't this just a, a fucking breeze, guys? I just... Oh my god, I love this boss so much. Because now I got to get up on him. And do this. Oh my god. Oh my god, come on. I gotta run at him. This is probably the one part I don't like of this entire dungeon. This is why I still regard this as probably one of my least favorite dungeons. And he's... Okay, no. Okay. I thought I had to f do it again. Okay, phew. Okay. And at least we get our, our health refilled after that. So let's head up here. Let's go after Rudo. Let's go after our buddy old pal Rudo. Get that. Um... I didn't really need that, but because I already had. So now we go ahead and I I hit you. Go fuck yourself. I'm not doing this. I'm not taking your guys' shit. Yes, sir. All right, going in here. With these, we do this. Again, Octoroks are like cancer in this game. They just don't like to... They just don't like to... They just don't like to mess with you. I wanted to go down there and get that. And it probably just cost me uh, this free ride. But I don't care. Jump across here. Throw your boomerang here. You gotta get across here fast because obviously... It's only there for a limited time. And let's get... Um, is there anything over here? No, there's not. Okay. Let's get on here. And this will take us down a level! Because it, and it connects us to the first part. And guess what? We can kill these guys now! Because we have our boomerang. Um... So, for this next part, we're gonna go over here to this since there really isn't anything else to do over there, so we're going to go ahead and bring this box over here, because won't let us won't let us go through here, so we got to go ahead and drop this, because it'll stay like that. And we are on our way. We are halfway there, kind of. We're living on a prayer. Take my hand, we will make it. I swear it. You know, this Z targeting will finally work for me. Get rid of these guys, because they will become real nuisances, and I just noticed that that was there. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't realize that. Let's grab this, this little thingy. Bum, ba -da -ba -da. You destroyed the goose gold skull tula, and we get that. And we're back up here. So, for this little thingy, we're going to have to Z-target this and be right in range of it, because if not, first try. Usually it takes a few tries. Just jump down here. It's not that far of a drop. And we're in here. And I believe this is the final boss. Whoa, look at that! This ara- uh, this, uh... Arachnid thingy! Oh no! Bioelectric and enemy barricade! Let's do this, baby! Alright, so we're gonna start off by, uh, shooting these things. Watch out for the- watch out for the little antenna thingies.
And this thing will come out, so you gotta watch out for the things that I just totally didn't even... That hurt. And you're gonna have to hit it a few times. Stay off range of these jellyfish. Stay in range. I would suggest just killing these guys because because again they will they will make this a lot harder than it needs to be because again they guard the weak point and you can't really hit it without killing these guys Z target please Z target please and of course they don't do it so guess what we get to do it all over again oh no 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 do this to me there we go. Take these guys out. One and two. There we go. And he leaves himself vulnerable. I'll get over there and keep bringing him in again. Hit him a few times. Kind of an intense boss fight. Yes, I know who he is. I threw the thing at him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, hit him. There we go. And there we go. And he gets all gross and puffs up at him. And he's dead. And you've just completed, or I've just completed, I've just completed Jabba Jabba's Belly. Get that heart container. And boom. Let's see what goodies we can get from these. Rupee, don't need. Another rupee I don't need. Another rupee that I do not need. <laughs> That's okay. Hey, there's Princess Bruto. Let's go talk to her. You're late. What took you so long? You're useless. I was just lonely, that's all. I was just a little lonely. Right? I can see you blushing there. Oh yeah, we're gonna get the we're gonna get this uh fun little bit here. We're gonna come out here and yep, yeah, here we go. <sighs> oh! Falls in the water. Whoa, what was that? He's just gonna kinda sit there and then Oh no, seductive fish lady! Oh no! You, you looked cool, cooler than I thought you would anyway. Just a little. Well anyway, you saved me, so I guess I'll reward you. What do you wish? Just tell me. I want that spiritual stone or nothing, really. I'm gonna take the spiritual stone, baby. You mean the spiritual stone of water, Zora's sapphire, don't you? My mother gave it to me and said I should give it only to the man who will be my husband. You might call it the Zora's engagement ring. All right, I'll give you my most precious possession, Zora Sapphire. Ba -doo, ba -doo, ba -doo, ba -doo, ba -doo. Just gonna just kind of swim away from me and then give it to me, and that makes the third and final stone that we need. Yay, we got it! You obtained Zora's Sapphire. This is the spiritual stone of water passed down by the Zoras. Her mo most precious possession. You don't know what she's talking about, but you finally collected all three spiritual stones. Go back to and see Princess Zelda. Don't tell my father. I won't. And I think that'll be it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Let me get over to land. And that'll be it for this for this video. If you liked what you've seen here, click uh, subscribe and like and favorite and all that mumbo jumbo. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care.